Hi, I'm Dr. Grant Mullen, and welcome to this week's video blog. When I married Kathy, I married into a family of handymen. All her male relatives could fix and build things and use power tools. They were a very intimidating bunch because I couldn't fix or build anything. They couldn't believe that an adult male like me couldn't do all those things. They thought that building and fixing was an innate ability of all men. I'm sure they felt really sorry for Kathy because she married into such a defective gene pool. You see, my dad was a chartered accountant. He was great at tax returns and balancing a checkbook, but he wasn't able to teach me how to hang a door or frame a house. So I've always felt intimidated and insignificant around people who can do all those alpha male activities. But I started thinking about this issue last month when I received an email from Tim Simons, who is one of the pastors at Elam Christian Center in Auckland, New Zealand. Every week he sends out an encouraging email for Christian businessmen, and I highly recommend it. In this issue, he reminded us that David was unable to fight Goliath in Saul's armor. He had to fight in his own unique way, even though it was totally unconventional. David succeeded because he used his own unique gifts and talents that God gave him and he stayed true to himself. I had to accept the fact that I'm much better with a mouse than a hammer. I can build a website, but not a deck. I can write a book, but I can't pour cement. It's taken a long time, but I've slowly been able to embrace my inner nerd. I will never be like Kathy's family, and that's okay. God wants us to be ourselves. He's given us unique strengths and talents and abilities that he wants to bless. There's no need to try to be like someone else. So the best way to beat the giants in your path and to live a transformed life is to be yourself and allow God to use the strength that he has already placed in you. Now I want to hear from you. What giants have you conquered in your life because you stayed true to yourself and used your unique gifts? Just leave your comments in the space below. I'll talk to you again next week.